is happening guys welcome back to Redbeard's Garage I am Redbeard and this is a Tilson 225cc kit from Go Power Sports this is everything you need in a box to make awesome safe fun power uh, and Go Power Sports has handpicked every one of these components to give you an awesome experience so what we're going to do is go through each individual part and let you know what comes in the kit then we're going to get on the bench and make some power this Tilson 225cc kit comes with a forged flat top piston that is two millimeters bigger than your standard Predator piston, also with a billet rod with insert bearings. For the head, we have a large port 196R head that'll flow a little bit better than a stock head with 27 millimeter intake and 25 millimeter exhaust valves. This head also comes with upgraded valve springs right out of the box. For our cam, we have a 265 lift cam one of my favorite cams offered from Go Power Sports. This thing is amazing on a yard cart or a mini bike. Got a billet flywheel for safety and less drag. For carburation, we got a 22 millimeter True Makuni round slide carb. So we'll jump to the workbench and we'll show you how to put this kit together. Start off with prepping the piston. You will have five total rings to install. Start with the oil spacer, followed by the thin oil control rings on top and bottom of the spacer. Now install the compression ring with any numbers or letters facing up. Hook the corner of the ring into the groove and rotate it to install. Now install the top compression ring. Another method of installing rings is to use a ring tool. Insert each side of the ring into the tool and lightly separate the ring to slide onto the piston into the groove. With our piston prepped, we can now remove the rod cap using a quarter inch 12 point socket. Place some assembly lube on the piston and the rod. Install the wrist pin clips in one side of the piston. When installing our rod, we need to make sure the arrow on the piston is pointing towards the long ear of the rod. Slide the wrist pin into the piston and through the rod. We can now install the second wrist pin clip. Start one side of the clip and with a pick, snap the ring into the groove. A gear is located on the crankshaft that would normally run the governor assembly. Since this engine is not factory governored, we can remove it for less rotating mass. Install the flywheel nut onto the crank to protect the threads and tap the gear off with the hammer. Now we can slide our crankshaft into our block. Coat the piston ring compressor with assembly lube or oil. Slide the piston rings 120 degrees apart. Slide the piston into the compressor while leaving the piston skirts exposed. Tighten the compressor as tight as possible. Clean and oil the cylinder bore. Slide the piston into the block with the arrow facing down. Make sure the compressor is tightly against the block to ensure a smooth insulation.
With a wooden or fiberglass handle of a hammer, tap the piston into the bore. Apply some assembly loop onto our crank journal and piston rings before sliding the piston down onto the crank. Install the rod cap with a dipper facing down and hand snug the rod bolts. Using a quarter inch torque wrench set to 60 inch pounds. Start at 60 and add 20 inch pounds until reaching 170 inch pounds while alternating from bolt to bolt. Install the lifters into the block. Oil the cam and line the dots up on the cam gear and the crankshaft for proper timing. Now we can install our side cover dowels and gasket followed by the cover itself. We need to torque the side cover to 17 foot-pounds and check our crankshaft end plate. Grab the output shaft and check how much it will move in and out. We want to get this down to around 10 thousandths of plate. This shim set comes with two thin and two thick shims. I'll be installing one thick shim and retesting. Now we have the proper crankshaft in place. Install the billet flywheel, starter cup, and nut. The starter cup has a dimple that fits into the flywheel. I use an old pulley to hold my crankshaft while torquing the flywheel nut. Torque to 54 foot pounds. Insert the head dowels and gasket and place our head on the block and torque to 18 foot pounds. Slide in your push rods while making sure to seat them into the lifters. Loosen the rockers and slide the push rods under the rockers into the dimple. Use a 3000 spiller gauge to set the valve lash with the piston at top dead center. Pull the valve train and install the valve cover. Gap the spark plug and install into the head. We can now install our coil. I set my air gap on my coil to 40,000. Slide the feeler gauge between the coil and the flywheel and rotate the flywheel until the magnet is under the coil. Push down the coil and tighten. Rotate the flywheel to remove the feeler gauges. Now we can install the fan shroud.
When installing this style of Makuni, make sure the port is lined up inside the manifold before installing on the head. The last piece of this kit is a heat shield on the bottom of the head. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Uh, check out all the links in the video description for this Tiltson 225 Builders Kit. We also linked a few parts we're going to be adding to this engine. We're going to be doing some chrome ollie push rods, some ratio rockers, and the stage 4 head that Go Power Sports has in the future. And uh, in just a couple days, we'll be slapping this thing on a Trailmaster MB200. We've got a brand new Trailmaster to build the ultimate MB200. Uh, we're doing front brakes, we're doing all kinds of stuff to it, so stay tuned for that. And make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And again, make sure to check out those links for all these parts. Let us know what you thought about the video down below. We love you guys, and God bless.